heart of this story, Betty, I think, is a question about how young consumer technology companies make money. I mean, you could you could put this question to an Instagram or a Pinterest or a Twitter, but in the case of Instagram, you're talking about a service that is wildly popular. You don't get to 100 million users without being so, and since Facebook's acquisition of Instagram, those numbers have certainly uh, enjoyed a lot of fuel. For Kevin Systrom, the guy who runs Instagram, uh, being on that Facebook campus and getting a lot of creative ideas on how you make money in one of these businesses basically led to what they're looking to do. And in a blog post last night, he said, look, we apologize. We know that the policy changes we're looking to implement were very broad. We're just looking at some creative ways to make our business grow. Of course, the backlash is tied to a lot of high profile people, celebrities speaking out and saying, hold on a second, there's a possibility for our photos to be sold without our consent and us not getting a nickel from that. Forget it, we're gone. Right. I mean, celebrities and just, uh, you know, the, the regular people that are that are using uh, Instagram. Uh, now, John, uh, a lot of these negative comments have also come out from uh, Twitter, which, of course, has its own battle with Instagram. Right. Yeah, I mean, Twitter made some changes earlier this year, and then recently Instagram made changes that people were frustrated with. I think at the end of the day, just coming back to the business story, you've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got Google, all looking for mobile ad money. eMarketer came out this week, said they're gonna we're going to see about $4 billion in U.S. mobile advertising spending this year, up 54% from their own estimates in September. That's how fast this market is growing.